Hello my fellow followers to what's going to be the last part of uh, my video series in which I'm going to build a do-it-yourself sailboat for only $20. I apologize that I didn't do the final video. I so, sort of like uh, left the project behind me because the winter came and in winter uh, I cannot sail because the lakes are frozen. So I left a bit the project and now spring is coming and I uh, began working on a ship again so when it gets warmer I can try it so my um, series until now uh, had much success over 1000 or 2000 views on the episodes and uh, I left at episode 4 of 5 so this would be the final episode if you plan to build uh, a boat like this so check out my older videos, the link is in the description and um, I built this whole boat um, with only $20 of material. We have to um, put um, the electronics into the boat and um, we have to um, put the weight onto the keel. So back in summer, I mean I'm interested in more than fly things like airplanes and drones but I was curious about the um, boats and uh, particularly for um, sailboats because they work with the wind but I didn't know much I, I, I knew nothing about the uh, sailboats so um, I took this um, it's called the Focus uh, it's from Hype and um, I took this to make the plans and I made it a bit smaller than it is uh, in real. And um, okay, 300 euros for the boat, original. And I wanted to build it very cheaply, so my goal was um, 20 bucks. So the original focus is 2.04 um, meters from the keel to the top but I had just a 1 meter uh, carbon fiber boom for the mast so I had to make it a bit smaller and now I'm talking about this because I have to establish how much weight I have to put onto the keel it depends from the uh, surface of the two sails because the wind pushes the, the sails away so um, if the sails are bigger then um, on the keel there uh, has to be a much more bigger weight so I made some calculations and um, the original focus is 3.8 kilograms heavy I scaled the surface of the sails down how much um, the original focus is um, in proportion to uh, my uh, sailboat and if the original focus weighs 3.8 kilograms I established that um, my boat should weigh around um, 1.3, 1.4 kilograms. So if the boat weighs 0 0.3, 0 0.4 kilograms, I will have to put uh, onto the keel about 1 kilogram to 1.1 kilogram of weight. So I found some weights for the keel. Um, I got these are like spare parts of iron and I got them for free and here I have around one kilo of them and um, I'm going to um, solder these parts together to um, build the weight onto the keel and then I'm going to make a wooden shell that has the shape of the keel so that the water flows easily around it. Now I soldered the pieces together so we have one big piece of iron and it weighs around one kilogram and um, now we have to uh, attach it onto the keel so we will have to put this like here and we have to check um, the center of gravity of the boat and it should be like here 
if you hold the boat with one finger here it should be balanced so you can move the weight forwards and backwards to um, achieve the best um, center of gravity now we have to fix the weight very good because I mean it's one kilogram but it's quite a big weight for such a boat so I will use some wire and uh, tons of hot glue let's try so at the bottom of the keel I made a few holes so I can pass the wire through and I can um, fix it with some wire now the rudder is sold in place by uh, the wire and now we are gonna hot glue it so now I put a ridiculously amount of hot glue I hope that it stays in place I think it should after filming and uploading the fourth episode I did some uh, things I replaced the uh, wooden X for the rudder because I thought it was too weak so I replaced it with uh, iron uh, I made this uh, piece of wood slimmer so you can see and control it better rudder is working good and then I put the other main function in it here we have the uh, a servo we wanted to make the boat cheap so I used a standard servo and not the like the ship servos with um, more turns I used just a normal servo, a bit bigger servo with a bit of uh, strength and then I um, made the arm longer so here to this servo there are hooked up uh, two strings and uh, so you can control um, the sails uh, how much they are open or closed um, this will control the main sail and this the small sail to make that the sails um, can be controlled all by one servo uh, I had to do this here because the servo is in the middle of the two sails so if it turns to one side the other side would um, turn uh, the opposite so I had to do this, I had to put here a piece of wood and then uh, this string goes directly to here and the other string goes around this pole and then to uh, the sail like this it looks like a bit of a mess but um, it's working and we have to do this so the sails um, work uh, the same the video is getting far too long so I end the video here um, and I will do a sixth part um, to end the series and stay tuned for that part because we are gonna finish it and in particular we are gonna do this we have to make the wooden shell for the weight of the keel then we have to uh, hook up uh, the um, sails to the strings to the servo which is quite tricky and I will need um, much time to um, make it clear to you then I will have to install all the electronics like the other servo for the rudder or the battery and the other uh, electronics and then we are finished but that is going to be the next video so stay tuned for the next video like this video if you liked this boat check out the previous videos of this series so you can uh, build one for yourself so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video of the boat and all the next videos I'll be doing about model airplanes uh, aerial videography and boats let's see you next time bye